My name is Vacek Kuftejan, I'm from Pursanova, and this is where we build our RO system. And I want to give an overview to our first machine that we built it uh, totally turnkey, whereby the customer, all what they have to do is put the water in and water out and discharge, and that's about it. So the overview of the machine, uh, we have a, a, a brine here, which you put the salt, and here the oxidizer. The, connect, this will, the customer need to connect from here, this hole, to the first tank. And then all what the customer have to do here is buy salt and connect the hose from here to this area right here. Uh, this, this, this area right here. This machine is, uh, will address the three major issues that we are being faced uh, last year in the ag industry, in the farming industry and that is the water pressure, iron, and uh, hard water. So water pressure, we, uh, we have ad uh, addressed that issue by adding a feed pump, which you see over there, the blue one. That's the feed pump. And that will address the pressure issue. And then the iron, we have uh, green sand with the oxidizer tank in the bottom, which is the small one here. That's the oxidizer tank. This, this tank goes with this. And then the hard water, which is the iron exchange. This one, uh, this one goes with this one here. And there is a connection that goes from here to that area. And this one here is uh, act activated granular carbon. And we have all the gauges that will uh, tell the customer all the pressure in all those three uh, three tanks, um, and also we and, and, and also it, all of this is managed as a module with this uh, motherboard right here. We have safety feature on this machine. Two safety features. One is the pump itself. When the pump uh, feels that there is not enough water going through it, it will automatically stop. And the other feature, this one goes at the tank, at the product tank, where the customer at the product tank needs to make a hole on the top, at least one foot and a half away from the top, and then put this in and put the nut. And when the water fills up the tank, this will start gradually going up, and that will stop the machine. And that is another feature, a safety feature, whereby the machine does not run for nothing. And now I go in the back and I'll show you what we have in the back. In the back we have, as I said, the feed pump right there. We have the big blue that comes, that the water travels between, it go, travels through those three major tanks over there and then through the big blue. The big blue we have a sediment filter, five micron, and activated carbon, five micron. And it's very simple hookup. The water, the feed water, goes over here that's where the water comes in and then the product water comes from the top that's where the it goes to the uh, tank reserve and then the drain goes in the bottom right here it is always recommended to have a tank whereby if it's a well from the well and pressure is a suspect it's always better to have a tank whereby you can draw from the well fill up the tank and have the machine take it from the tank and on the other side you would have a product tank with which it will fill up with a, uh, uh, with a clean water. That's about it really. There isn't much uh, else to talk about except we have also two solenoids over here. One in this area here and the other one is located over there. You will see it where I'm pointing my finger and that will make sure that the water travel in one direction and keep, uh, keep the machine in harmony. And that's about it. And uh, our next video is going to be uh, how to operate this machine for the first time. And then you leave it on for 24 hours. When we say this machine is, uh, uh, the specification of this machine is 6,600 gallons per day, that means that translates 24 hours a day.